Hi guys, so I'm Sir Jan. So under your physical education too. So ang first topic natin, uh, module 1 natin is acquiring movement skills. Okay, so you can sit, relax, uh, and listen to our discussion or my presentation. Then later on, uh, if you have some questions, we could discuss. Okay, so sige. Things to discuss. So basic understanding and importance of fundamental movements. Classification of skills, most common skills in sports, and different classification of abilities relating to movement skills. So, what is fundamental movement skills? So, when we say fundamental movement, parang ito yung kinakailangan natin or the basic core that we need to be able to perform different types of physical activities. So, like walking, running, jumping, etc. So, children though develop fundamental movements as they grow. Tama, di ba? So, as a baby, so, hindi, as a baby, hindi naman tayo nag-start na tumakbo kagad or naglakad. So, di ba? At first, we lay down, we learn to crawl, we stand up. So, those are the fundamental movements of a baby. So, yun yung, ibig sabihin, yung fundamental movements natin, ito yung basic or necessary or the foundation of all, uh, foundation of all of our movements. So, fundamental movement skills are also the basic movements of our different body, body parts or it involves our different body parts as so feet, legs, trunks, hands, arms. So, paano natin siya gamitin in a specific activity? Diba? Then, also, yung children that learn these fundamental movements in an early age, uh, they are more likely to be active to participate in different game sports, which is uh, good, di ba? Kasi parang mas maganda nga na start natin mas bata pa yung uh, natitrain na kaga, di ba? Para in early years nila, mas magiging active lalo. So, upon learning the different fundamental movements of our body, we are now ready to perform any specific task, di ba? So, we are now acquiring a skill. So, yung skill natin can also be developed through practices and uh, trainings, right? So, as we talk about skill, so, ito naman yung different skill characteristic or katangian ng skill. Skill, ha? The skill is consistent, so, able to execute action with maximum certainty. Kung baga, uh, uh, the, pag ginagawa mo siya over and over, mas nagiging accurate, di ba? Yung isang skill or a skill daw. Aesthetic naman, aesthetic looks controlled, effective, and effortless. So, baga, yung skill can be more uh, stylish, di ba? Parang habang tumatagal, mas nagiging, mas nag-improve siya ang isang skill. Right? Then, next is learn through, learn through practice and experience. Of course, skill, hindi naman siya automatic na nandyan, di ba? It can be learned through uh, thousand practices and also through experiences. Also, a, a skill is a goal directed, so it has an intention to do it, not just luck. So, yeah. And also, a skill is predetermined. You have an aim, and a skill has an aim to achieve. So, yung skill na yun, uh, mas as he learned, di ba? Mas naga achieve siya or mas nag aim siya ng. Uh, mas mataas. O, kumbaga, parang may mas gusto pa siyang mapatunayan. Kumbaga, mas may ili-level up pa yung skill. Most common skills in sports. In cognitive and intellectual skill. So, this skill is involves the mental or intellectual ability. The way you approach a game. So, yung planning mo, yung strategies, uh, tactics to outweigh a game. So, kung nabawa, uh, kung ipapasa ko ba tong bola na to, Talino ko ba ibibigay? Saan ko ba idadaan? Yun, yung tipong ganun. Kung baga, intellectual. Being intellectual. A perceptual skill naman, uh, ito naman yung it involves detection, interpretation of information. Kung baga, meron kang sense of awareness or dito mo nagagamit yung senses mo, di ba? Uh, kung baga, kung baga, yan, for example, yung tennis. Kung baga, na-perceive mo na, na-interpret mo na ano yung magiging outcome, kung ano yung speed ng bola, kung saan yung direction na pupuntahan niya. 
So, ganun. Ganun yung perceptual skill naman. So, a motor skill, uh, it involves movement and muscular control. So, when you see this term, think of a movement. Ayan. So, it also, uh, most likely, makikita natin to sa mga physical sports, diba? So, like basketball. So, yung yung movement natin, so, diba? May nakikita kayo, nag-dribble. Uh, Nakapag-ankle break siya, na ankle break yung bumabantay sa kanya. Then, kapag nag-lay up, naiiwas niya yung bola. Imbis na mabablock siya, na i reverse niya pa. So, that is a example of a muscular movement or muscular control. A skill performance is performed at high standard effectively and efficiently. So, characteristic of effectiveness, ito yung you have the accuracy, consistent, and controlled, and you have the confidence to perform your actions now or movements. Characteristic of efficiency, you have the technique, the fluent, the aesthetic, you have discover your own movement, yan, uh, umbaga fluent na, suabi na yung pag-execute mo. Then, characteristic of responsiveness, ito na you learn to adapt in a game, or yung mas nagiging ano na yung decision making mo, when it comes to uh, strategy. And so, what are motor skills? What is a motor skill? A motor skill, it refers to the body's ability to manage the process of the movement. Or, it is simply the outcome of our predetermined movement. Yung base dun sa na-acquire natin. Well, natutunan nating ability. So, that is our motor skills. Like, kanimbawa, uh, we are able to track an object using with, with our one eye, balance of one leg, climb stairs, push-ups, running, jumping. So, those are kind of motor skills or ability that we have learned. So, motor skills uh, develop in early childhood, but for some individuals, impairments in motor skills may be identified in childhood when the person's motor development fails to follow the expected progression. So, yun naman. So, individually naman, magkakaiba naman tayo ng progression ng skills. ba? So, a person's motor skills may change over the course of his, his of her lifetime. Adults can continue to develop and improve their motor skills by physical exercise or uh, through repeated motion. So, yan, mas, mas ano tayo, ma, makakapagpalakas, mas marami pa tayong pwedeng matutunan na different abilities. But, uh, if a motor skills can become impaired daw, uh, due to accident, injury, or disease, or age-related regression. So, sa athlete, so ito yung usually pinaka-ayaw na ayaw natin mangyari, di ba? Yung magkaroon ka ng injury. So, kasi once na pag nagka-injury ka, na-accidente ka sa game, so nababawasan yung performance natin. So, nagkakaroon ng epekto either in your physical, emotional, and psychological effect. So, maraming bagay. Then, once na naging impaired, mo, uh, na -impaired tayo, or yung motor skills natin, nagkakaroon tayo ng uh, poor posture or difficulty in balancing. So, baga, hindi na yung the way we perform before, nababago na. Di ba? So, kaya yun, kailangan pag-ingatan din natin yung sarili natin. So, classification of motor skills. So, classification of skills. So, many skills have similar characteristics. But some skills can also be depend on the circumstances. So, to overcome these problems in, in classifying these skills, we use continuum. So, a continuum, ayan, yung imaginary line na nakikita natin. So, it shows the gradual increase and decrease in the number of characters. So, environmental influence continuum, so it deals with the range of skills labeled to close to open. So, yung environmental, ibig sabihin merong effect yung environmental dito sa isang mga skills na to. So, open skills, these are predominantly perceptual, no clear beginning and end, and are affected by the environment. So, we are talking yung environment natin, yung opponents mo, uh, yung crowd, uh, ano pa ba, yung teammates mo, so that is your environment. So, nakaka-apekto sa isang skill. Yung so close skills naman, these are predominantly habitual with a clear beginning and an end. And these are not affected by the environment. So, yun yung pinagkaiba nila. 
So, kapag once na in-execute nila yung isang skills. So, continuity continuum naman, it deals with discrete, serial, and continuous skills. So, ano, what are their differences? So, when we say discrete skills, uh, it is a clear beginning and end. So, ibig sabihin, may one skill ka lang na i-execute. So, alabawa, yung javelin throw. You have to throw that, yung javelin. In serial skills naman, skills that have, had, have number of discrete elements linked together. So, example, yung high jump. So, when we execute yung high jump, hindi ka lang basta tumalon. There are three steps yan. You hop, step, and jump. So, that is high jump. So, when we say continuous skills naman, these are skills that cannot be split up easily. Or, it is a repetitive actions like yung cycling, swimming, running. Diba, kapag nagsiswim ka, continuous lang naman yun. Uh, Nag-stroke ka. Cycling, you use your legs. And running, you use also your legs. So, those are continuous skills na pwedeng, hindi mo pwedeng hati-hatiin. Okay? Muscular involvement continuum. So, it deals with gross and fine skills. So, the difference with these two, yung gross skills, it uses large muscles movements. So, example niya, yung weightlifting. Sa fine skills naman, it uses small muscle movements. So, like yung darts. Ano pa ba yung mga small muscle? Uh, chest. Diba? So, hindi mo naman siya kailangan ng large muscle movements. Ayan. Pacing continuum naman, it deals with the self pace or ex and external pace skills. So, when we say self-paced skills, the, the performer has more control over his movements. So, let's say in volleyball. So, when you serve the ball, maga, uh, yung performer, he can direct the ball kung saan direction yung gustong papuntahin. Where in sa externally paced skills naman, yung environment, mas may control siya dun sa tema ng laro mo. So, let's say yung mga skydiving. So, di ba yung hangin? medyo nakaka-apekto sa performance. So, yun naman yung example ng external paced skills. Organization continuum, it deals with the low organization and high organization skills. When we say low organization skills, uh, the skills are uncomplicated. So, and have legal organization structure lang siya where they tend to discrete and maybe practice separately. Yung mga routines, may mga subroutines, easy, easy to separate. So, like yung triple jump. So, you can separate yung training niya, yung, yung step, yung hop, yung jump. Sa so high organization skills naman, skills that has complex organization structures, where yung subroutines niya that are linked together cannot be practiced separately. So, example, yung gymnastic move. So, once na nag-execute na yung gymnastic, hindi mo naman pwedeng pag-iwalay-iwalay, iwalay-iwalay yung bawat movements niyan. So, yun yung high organization skills. Difficulty in continuum naman, it deals with the simple and complex skills. So, simple skills. Skills that are straightforward with few subroutines requiring little cognitive and concentration activity of the part of the performer. So, example, yung running, jiking, biking. So, yun yung mga simple skills natin. When we say complex skills naman, these are complicated skills that require a lot of practice or attention. Complex skills requires many interlinked subroutines. Some of them are habitual or learned, which affects the ease of the performer. So, example, yung snooper. So, hindi naman siya ganun. It may look easy, but pero, pero pag nilalaro mo na, mahirap, di ba? Yung mga angle, o oh, yan, mahirap patamaan, yan yung eksakto. So, hindi mo siya ganun ka ma ma memorize Hindi siya memorization, di ba? It requires a lot of practice. Yeah. Classification of abilities relating to movement skills. So, we have three. The locomotor skills, which are rolling, sliding, jogging, or running. Or you simply move one place to another. Non-locomotor skills, these are balancing, stretching, bending, twist, turn, push, or pull. Uh, object control skills naman, you need an object. So, may object ka na ginagamit like yung bouncing, throwing, catching, kicking, striking, smashing, or over one, over on throwing. So, those are object control. So, merong uh, bola or bat na ginagamit to execute these skills. 
So thank you for listening. So we can go back in our online class. So we could have a discussion of this. Thank you.